Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Front page has a few wizards you can choose from to assist you in creating your website. A wizard is simply a small program that presents you with a series of screens with questions and options you fill in answers and make selections for. Apart from the wizards, front page comes with a few different website templates to choose from. To select a wizard or template in front page 2002, click File in the menu bar, roll over New, and click Page or Web, or change the task pane's drop down to New Page or Web. Then click the Website Templates link in the task pane. In front page 2003, Click File from the menu bar, and then click New, or change the task pane's drop-down to New. Then click the More Website Templates link in the task pane. In both versions, this will launch the Website Templates dialog box. Here you can see the different website templates and wizards that are available to you. Simply double-click any of these wizards to run through them, or double-click a template to start working on the site. If you select one of the wizards, you will be presented with a new dialog box with Back and Next buttons that you can use to navigate through the wizard. To begin, simply click the Next button, and you will be presented with your first question or set of options. After you select your options or answer the questions on each of the pages, you'll click the Next button. As you progress through the wizard, you may realize that you need to go back and change an answer. To do that, simply click the Back button. Then you can change whichever answer it is you need to change, and then click Next again to continue moving through the wizard. Eventually, you'll get to a screen that asks you to insert your company information. You'll need to put in your company name, short version of the name, and your company's street address. But what if you're not creating a site for a company? That's not really a big deal. This happens to be the Corporate Presence Web Wizard. So, if you selected a different wizard, you may not get questions or prompts that tell you to enter your company information. Instead, they may be things like, what's your family name? Who are you intending to contact with this particular type of web page? Each wizard is designed to get only the information necessary for that type of website. When you're finished working through the wizard, click the Finish button to have the wizard create all of the pages necessary for your site. At that point, you'll simply need to fill in the content for the web pages that the wizard created for you. If you need help thinking of what your site needs, especially if you're the only person on the development team, you can help yourself get an idea for what types of pages you might want or need by running through the different wizards and noting the questions it asks you and pages it creates for you. You can always delete a site that you create by running through a wizard by going into My Documents and deleting the folder that the web wizard created for you. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.